I'm talking to Davide Lage, Head of Financial Shared Services at Iron Mountain. Davide, well done for the honorary mention in the um, Thought Leader category of the Shared Services Excellence Awards last night. Tell me a little bit about what's behind that achievement. Well, um, I've, been, I've been operating uh, in shared services for a number of years. I'm Italian, as you probably can get from my accent, and I moved uh, to the UK from Italy in the late 90s. And through this move, um, I joined the, the shared services business. Uh, and I've worked for a number of shared services. Uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, in my first shared service center, I was lucky to be given the opportunity to become a Six Sigma black belt. And that was the first pillar uh, of my approach. And then I moved on from there uh, into uh, other shared service leadership experiences. Uh, and then ultimately, uh, before Iron Mountain, I joined a fantastic, fantastic business, which is WL Gore, famous Gore-Tex. Uh, and there I've, com I've completed my learnings and my, my pillars in my approach with the people side of things, the culture side of things. And then, after the Gore experience, and I joined Iron Mountain, and had been given by, by Iron Mountain the opportunity to, to implement and fully prototype my, my whole approach, which I call the model of operational excellence, which is essentially made of three pillars. Pillar number one is around people, culture, uh, motivation, and, and shape the mindset, essentially. Pillar number two, so we can call it motivate change, if you want. Pillar number two is around understanding change, performance measurement, Six Sigma, benchmarking, uh, and all these type of things. And then, of course, there's pillar number three, which is implement change, make it happen. And normally, this happens through technology, ERP systems, and other technologies. So it's motivate, understand, and implement change. How have you used this methodology to overcome challenges at Iron Mountain? I inherited uh, a setup uh, in Iron Mountain, which started in 2004. I joined Iron Mountain in May 2006, uh, and uh, it was quite a problematic setup with a number of challenges. Uh, first of all, uh, in, in certain process areas, the relationship between the shared service center and their stakeholders was quite broken, especially in the order to cash area between the ER team and their upstream stakeholders like account managers, billing teams, uh, sales representatives. And they are I fixed, I fixed that kind of problem. Uh, how? Essentially through performance measurement, bring the evidence on the table, um, specifically with a dispute management system that is the key issue in the order to cash area, regular forums on a monthly basis, and collaborative work to solve the problems in partnership together. That was the, the, the first goal that I scored. Uh, another challenge that Iron Mountain had was around uh, legacy systems, 15 not integrated, not in even interfaced, manually integrated legacy systems. We we've implemented Oracle uh, across, uh, across uh, the UK because at the moment it's still a UK share service centre uh, and we have overcome that issue. And, um, and of course through Oracle and through process improvement, uh, we are in the process now to, to raise the bar of performance. I've inherited pretty much a low quartile performance, for example, 5,000 invoices per FTE in AP, uh, 60 days DSO, which we have reduced from 60 to almost 50 uh, before starting implementing Oracle. Um, and ultimately the month-end process, I've inherited a nine days month-end process, we've reduced it to six before starting Oracle, and now with the number of Six Sigma projects, we are reducing into a best practice of three days month-end. What's distinctive in your approach? Well, if you go back to the three pillars, uh, the first uh, thing that I believe is, is pretty unique in the shared services world is the fact that I use a Six Sigma approach uh, which, is, uh, which is a bit different, unique, and what I mean by that is that Six Sigma was developed for manufacturing processes. Now, if you think about it, manufacturing means machines. Machines are machines. People are people. In service businesses like shared services, it's people interacting with people. People have, have opinions, emotions, different values, beliefs, and behaviors. Machines don't. So. Uh, I've, I've branded this, this methodology which I call uh, Y Six Sigma and Y is a, a bit of playing with words but it's the letter Y and it stands for Theory Y. It's a bottom-up team empowerment approach 
change the mindset, change the behavior, think a cause first of all instead of leaving an effect and, and shape your mindset in looking for the root cause of the problems in the processes, do it in partnership with other stakeholders across the end-to-end -end process chain and build positive relationships. How do you enable these two pillars of behaviors? Changing the values and beliefs of individuals and teams. So it's a theory why uh, Six Sigma approach. And it really works. It's simple and effective. And also cheap <laughs> and fast to implement. And uh, the second distinctive thing is that when you implement Six Sigma solutions, Six Sigma essentially is uh, input, output, cause and effect, root cause. When you identify root cause, you should implement a, a preventative control solution. How can you do it? You can do it with information systems, you can do it with ERP systems. So if the system can prevent a defect from flowing into the process, then what you can avoid downstream and normally finance and share, financial services are at the bottom end of the process, you take detection and rewards, so non-value add work out of the process and you reduce cost, uh, you build process capacity to, to process more with less and potentially you can develop the process scope and do more value added things. Um, and another thing that I've learned working with Aaron Mountain because it's my first SOX compliant business is that a control solution can serve three purposes. A control for compliance and governance for SOX purposes and a control for process improvement to improve quality and cost in the process. One solution, three goals. Davide, thank you and well done on the award last night.